Now, over this last 12 months, I have been insistent on average golfers look at replacing their longer irons in the bag. Five irons, six irons, certainly four irons, and replacing them something with a bit more versatility, a bit more help, a bit more forgiveness. And underneath this head cover is another one of those options. This time it's from Strixon. It's their four hybrid in their new 2023 lineup. And if the driver and fairway woods are anything to go by, this could be really interesting. Right, so before I get out on the golf course here at Pula Resort, which uh, it seems to be the breeze is picking up, so this will certainly be put through its paces. I just want to talk about how this Srixon Golf Club looks and maybe the lineup full stop because they've done a tremendous job this year. I've reviewed the driver, the fairway woods, performed incredibly well. But there's one thing I reference in all of those videos, and it's just how good these things look. Now, from a shelf appeal pers perspective, if it's sitting there, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, from the underneath, I might give that one a go. But when I turn them upside and put them at the address position, that's when this product looks so, so good. They've got this matte black finish, which I think is much easier on the eye than high gloss. So straight away, it draws my eye. It sort of um, sits nice behind the ball as well in terms of the compact profile. It's very much a traditional profile and one that I like the look of. So from a looks perspective, really, really good. And if the performance is anything like the driver and fairway woods, then uh, this one should be interesting. I think we better get out on the course. Oh, nice little golf hole now, 14th. Uh, bunker left, water right. But you still want to get as far down as you can, so it's when I would reach for this kind of hybrid. Again, all about confidence and... Um, well, you want to hit... I, I'm going to make an obvious statement. Hit the ball straight, but it's just having the control, really. So, inside left of the bunker is the line. That's bang on again. I mean, it's, to be honest with you, oh, wow. That's almost too long. I'll see when we get down there. It started a little bit further right than I suggested. I said inside left, it probably started center. I was able to hit that little bit of a cut. It's always nice and elevated tee position because it tends to slow you down a bit. It's crazy. If we could get the mentality of always being in that elevated position, I'm sure our swings would be a lot smoother. But what I like, and just having a glance down, pretty much came off the middle of the club face there. That little bit of a cut that I like to play. But the bigger deal is about the control that I've got, the confidence I've got, and that comes from that shorter length shaft that you have in hybrids. And uh, confidence is huge when you're stored on a tee like this. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Shervo, the premium Italian golfwear and sportswear brand. By using some of the most innovative fabrics, Shervo produce clothing that is both stylish and incredibly comfortable to wear, both on and off the golf course. For more information, visit the Shervo website, and I will, of course, provide a link in the description of this video. Right, let's get back to the golf. Oh, I might as well stick around for the wedge shot. It's a lovely hole, and to be honest with you, we've passed the water on the right, so it was not hybrid. We've gone a bit long here, but um, I thought you might stick around for a laugh because there's a bit of water there on the left, and I have a tendency to pull wedges right now, so uh, yeah. This is potentially a new wedge in the bag as well, so... Oh my word, I think that's got to go a bit. Go a bit more. Oh, don't spin. <laughs> that has gotten over by literally a couple of feet. And uh, I've no idea what the yardage was, didn't get one. That wedge, by the way, interestingly enough, is a Mizuno S23. Super soft, I played a 56. Clearly not the right wedge, but nice little golf hole, that, isn't it? Perfect opportunity again to uh, test out the merits of this thing because well, I want to move the ball right to left here, um, which is not my natural shot shape, but certainly one we're going to try and play on this hole. Ah, I was trying as well. It's a good strike, and it is going to kick off the bank. It's probably, the, it was certainly the right play, and the idea really, what we didn't want to do was go left. 
my shot would have been aiming at those trees on the left hand side with a little bit of cut in an ideal world and if I was really confident maybe I should have played it I'm very much conscious that the fact that the ball is dead if you go left so my idea was to hit towards the bank bit of right to left couldn't quite manage it again decent enough strike maybe just let down by my ability to move that ball with the hybrid and I thought if anything everyone's avoiding the hybrids because they're scared of that sort of left shot and when I tried to do it I couldn't but in the title of this video I suggested that you should seriously consider dumping these clubs and what clubs am I actually referring to well they are in fact these things these things being long irons and i'm talking about four five and possibly even six iron coming out of your bag and messes that i've continually pushed for well probably the last 12 or 18 months and going to things like this and possibly what's under that head cover as well are making this part of the game so much easier so i'm going to hit a few more balls out here at carden park a bit different in terms of weather but just show you how much easier it is in my opinion to play this instead of this now the first thing to mention is this is my first shot of the morning here at Carden Park and the first thing I'm going to say is which club would I prefer to be hitting right now in terms of confidence do I want this fairly small profile of head I'm actually hitting a five iron or would I prefer to go back to the buggy and get myself that hybrid and uh, well I can tell you 100% it would be the bulk and mass of that hybrid to perhaps help me out right let's see how we get on anyway with the five iron do you know what it's leaked out a bit to the right but that's a really good first strike of the day it's just uh to be honest with you far better than i expected and i'm a real fan of the feel out of the strix and zx5 irons by the way which is what i hit but I'll switch up into that hybrid and I'll get an idea on just where these two land and where they both finish and again just talk about that confidence element again well the first thing is I mean I don't know how this perhaps works but I like the weight as well in terms of that head weight so I feel like I've got a bit of mass at the end of it which slightly encourages a slower swing and less effort if you like than what I felt I needed to produce in terms of the um, in terms of the iron that's the first thing I notice when I've got a club like this in my hand as opposed to an iron let's hit the ball first of all and see how we get on well first of all the, the notable thing is I mean that's bullet straight I was aiming at the bunker and that's the exact line that it's picked up on if I'm honest with you the probably the swing in contact with the iron was actually better than I made with the hybrid and the hybrid was slightly off the bottom grooves didn't quite pick the ball up as high as what I'd previously hit this thing but again I think if I had to put the same swing on the five iron you ain't getting away with it at all whereas with this thing it's definitely already traveled further than the five iron and I've got away with far more than I perhaps should have so that's another reason why the hybrid is far more favorable and suited to much more or many more I should say golfers than perhaps those long irons do the other interesting thing for me throughout the testing both in uh, Mallorca and now back here is just the often one of the criticisms of a hybrid might be is that it's kind of its workability and and to play a variety of different shots I'm finding the sort of head shape neutral uh, address position as well is allowing you to sort of manipulate that club head a little bit play different type and styles of shots which like I said is often a criticism but whilst I'm just suggesting that we look at these instead of sort of long irons I can't forget that we're actually looking at this hybrid in terms of the uh, ZX model mark 2 and I've got to say it's just performing so so well in terms of every shot I've hit so far let's hope I don't spoil that well no I didn't that's absolutely nailed it and again that's that long high ball flight again versatility wise just think about that coming into a green that kind of real sort of high launch angle descent angle coming into greens compare that to what you would do with your five iron or four iron equivalent and to me these things are absolute no-brainers so you get to a certain part of the review when you've done some testing you think well do you know what enough's enough i can't really show you any more and i can't hit any more balls that persuade me whether or not this is good or bad and the simple fact is i've not had a bad shot with it so therefore it's performed incredibly well in my hands in the last few weeks that i've been testing it 
the kind of positives are really just about the way it looks again i love that matte finish that i've said about all this friction range this year in terms of lineup it's got a real good head shape profile again which suits my eye but that not, ne not necessarily the same for you um the one kind of negativity that you could perhaps pick up on is the fact there's no adjustability in this and again the likes of when you pitch it up against the ping g430 lineup that adjustability gives that little bit more versatility in terms of gapping in the bag so that's something you could perhaps pick up as a negative but overall just full of enthusiasm for how good this hybrid has been and how good like i said the Strixon lineup has been in general i'm going to end it there but my message has always been and will be is don't forget dump those long irons out the bag they don't need to be there anymore for most golfers and don't forget take this uh, as advice for people who struggle with club head speed that's the best way i can put it because if you do and a lot of us do then that long end of the bag is certainly these are better replacements in my opinion anyway just my opinion let me know what your thoughts are as ever thank you for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow night